You have to develop your, your ear, you know. A lot of guitar students, they, they read music very well, but they don't understand the harmonic concept of things. Um, because they haven't tried to accompany uh, anything. That, that's a must. I, mean, uh, I was raised in Brazil. Uh, Brazil uh, is a country where commonly you get together with friends just to play, you know, songs. And everybody can play a little bit of guitar. And they can actually harmonize by ear. So you learn first to harmonize. Then you learn the name of the chords later. So it's, I think this aspect of learning through hearing, I think it's very important. My way of composing is using counterpoint. So that's my trade mark. That's what I do. That's not the only way of approaching composition. That's my way. So what I'm showing that's possible to make your song richer by using that device. That's probably why my music is very hard to play, because you have two or three things happening all the time. But that's not the only approach. People can make simple. Actually, guitar music is much more simple than what I write, in general. Yeah, um, there's one main thing happening, and, and I have additional bass here and there, but it's not very complex, the writing. What I notice when some people come to play my music for me is that they mix all the lines, they play them at the same level. A secondary line is a line that has to be, is there to fill in, is not the most important one, and it cannot compete with this, with the most important line that's normally the one on the top or the one brought to the bass side. Um, when people understand that, that they have to, to play the secondary line really soft, my music becomes more clear. I think um, compositions in general, the ideas, they come out of improvisations. So I can sit here in my living room and just play around, and all of a sudden uh, a chord sequence or something that uh, it comes out from improvising is going to show up. I say, oh, this is good, so I will repeat that. If it's really good and I say I like it, I normally notate it down. I have a folder in my computer where I store ideas. And I leave them there for a while. It could be, you know, just a chord sequence, a small one. It can be sometimes a rhythm. But I store them, all the ideas that I find interesting. And later on, if I want to write a piece and I think that idea suits what I want to write, then the rest is just working. The most difficult is to have the idea, is to get the spark. And if you have the idea to start with, it's just you know a matter of technique, how you, you go. Because if you want to write larger pieces, you need to control or have to know knowledge of form. Form gives you the length of a composition. If you want a shorter compositions, the form is not so important, because you're going to do a binary form or but my music is sectional. I write music that always has two different parts, at least. That, that comes from my formation as a musician, because I, I'm from Brazil, and the traditional Brazilian music is sectional. It, it, it has the rondo form or whatsoever. I think one in tend to create his own identity. I think I have created my own identity with my counterpoint, with my sectional things. and. Uh, with, with, with the harmony that I apply, also. Oh, yeah. My music is tonal. I use, insert things like, you know, hexatonic scales, a lot of modes to my writing. But, you know, it's basically what you call tonal modal music. You have to be sure of your taste or musical taste um, and be truthful to your taste, you know. You, you can't be something you are not. Like if you uh, admire someone and want to write like that person, that's not a good step. You, just, you have to look inside of yourself and, and really understand what is coming out of you that represents what you are. Mm -hmm.